All right, this is going to be my first uh, <clears throat> tack weld. We're going to weld this up here so I have a roof support uh, for adding on any kind of tack the rest of this in place. Far so good. Alright guys, here I'm uh, doing a little bit of uh, welding. So, if you notice, there's a small plate above the, um, the cross member and then the little support brace that I'm trying to weld in there. That was, I put that in there on that side to prevent uh, heating and potentially burning through the lightweight uh, insulation in the roofing uh, because there was no way for me to get that out it's one whole sheet on the roof uh, but it's small it's thin it's probably like a like about the width of like a piece of cardboard or like heavy duty cardboard um, so here I'm kind of messing with the settings this was kind of my first real big uh, uh, tasks as far as welding on the trailer so I kind of wanted to give I uh, still learning the the welding machine like the settings the wire feed speed all that different stuff um, it was a hundred and twenty volt uh, so it has it can do 120 volts or it can do 240 um, so I did not have a dedicated 240 uh, circuit for this so it was nice to kind of see that it could weld it at 120 and it would be fine um, there were some concerns there but for the most part uh, it welded good and holding my hand steady my arm was a bit of a, a learning curve I later learned to hold the torch and then kind of use my alternate hand and fingers to kind of keep everything uh, stable so that I could move the torch evenly the right distance all that good stuff for good strong welds um, and I will zoom in later and you can see that they're for the most part they're okay they're tolerable welds but they were not by any means um, good or professional type welds now would they do exactly what i needed them to do um to reinforce the roof structure uh yes in the end uh in later videos i'll show that where my weight is easily supported on those and i've had several other people up there on the rooftop with me and uh it can hold well over four to five hundred pounds which is perfect which is exactly where i needed it to be um and feel comfortable walking up there while i'm mounting my solar panels if i ever put an ac unit up there just the vibrations and the weight of the ac units about a hundred pounds so it's you know that's a lot of force uh, bouncing up and down the road so that's important was important for me to make sure that when I welded these braces in that it overall brought the stability of the entire roof structure up 
and that's why that was the goal and that's why I did all these extra braces into the roof and also into the sides and whatnot and, and I, I go through that I kind of explain that from time to time uh, but this was really my very first kind of test to see if it was even going to work if there was going to be unforeseen problems uh, heating issues which I never did really run into um, had a couple with like the aircraft glue and stuff like that that was used but for the most part uh, it did really good uh, the welding was was easy as it went on I got better and better at it uh, so yeah it was good, good learning It ain't ideal, but it is in there. <clears throat> now we only need like another like 40 or something like this braces all around this thing. <clears throat> 